surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Cedar of Essentials here. Today's video I'm going to be making use of folding chairs for this project and a lot of you have requested that I should make a DIY using folding chairs. Now there are a lot of folding chairs out there but I picked this one in particular because of the way it's slanted. I'm going to be using two for this project to make a bench. There are lots of benches out there that are really pretty but one particular one caught my eye. This one. It has a unique shape and I love the way it looks. Pulling it off with folding chairs is gonna be really tricky, but I'm gonna try my best. I'll be using this thick wooden board that has been cut to size and attaching it to the chairs. And I'll be using screws to attach the board to the chairs. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The next thing I'll do is measure up how much foam I'll be needing. I placed one long one at the top and then I'm going to cut one into two and I'll be attaching the halves starting from the bottom of both chairs and taking it up to the top. I'm attaching the foam to the wood that I already have on the chair. I need this part here to be rolled. In order for me to have something strong there, I thought about pool noodle. So I'm gonna cut pool noodle to size and attach it there. I used tape to hold the pool noodle to the foam and to the back of the chair. That is because my staple gun cannot work on this chair. In order for me to have the second foam coming over, I would need to attach it to something. So I'm gonna use a canvas panel, just a small piece, and attach it to the front. Don't make it easy for me to attach the second layer of foam coming from the back to be attached to the front. This is what the front now looks like. So to make my work easy for me at the back, I covered it with tape because in the front, I'm gonna be filling it up with shredded foam. I did that because I didn't want the foam falling off from the back. You can also buy a pillow and use the stuffings inside. I'm going to be adding more foam here at the bottom. I'll be using more canvas panel to close the sides and front. On the covering that I'll be making on both sides, I'm also going to be having this design on top of them. I'll be using the board that I have here and the one at the bottom to attach this other board here. The curved designs that I cut earlier are going to be put on top of this board. This is another board that I drew out a pattern that's going to be at the bottom. I'm going to cut out the pattern and attach it to the wooden board that's here. Now I'm going to be making points at the top for tufting. I'm also going to be making holes on those points with a pair of scissors. I'm going to have batting over it and then I'll be using this luxurious fabric that I got from Joanne Fabric for my project. All I'm doing is locating where the points are and using a heavy duty staple gun and stapling it down. I 
I'm going to staple the sides of the arms as well. I'll be stapling the foam that's going to come at the bottom together with the fabric and making sure that I follow the pattern that I have on the board. I'm going to be moving on to the arms. This is going to be attached to the board that I already have to make it easy for me to know exactly where to staple and to also get my pattern. At the bottom here, I don't have any board there. So what I'm going to do is use zip ties and attach them to the pipes. Now that that is done, I'm going to be stapling the fabric down to the design. I'll be using this flexible trim around the edges. Now it doesn't bend as much this way. So what I'm going to do is make little cuts at the bottom to make it easy for me to make a curve. I'm going to be spray painting the legs silver and also spray painting the flexible trim silver as well and attaching it to the board that has the design at the bottom with screws. I'm going to need much smaller curves here, so I'm going to be using this fabric trim that I got from Joanne Fabric for that. I'll be using gems to cover up the screw heads. I'll be removing the staple pins that are showing. This part here at the bottom, I don't really like the way it looks, so I'm going to be using this wooden onlays and spray painting them silver and attaching them there using screws. Here's what the bench now looks like. And I use two folding chairs to make this awesome looking French style bench. I just love the curves by the sides. And I love the fact that it looks different from all the other regular benches that you see in the stores. So next time you see two old folding chairs together and you're thinking about throwing it away, well, think again, because you can have an awesome bench with them. This is super cute. It can be used in the living room or in the bedroom. I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.